It may not have been a classic, but a o o draw at West Brom was enough to take Crystal Palace off the bottom of the Premier League table. The Eagles moved up to 18th with a point at the Hawthorns, with a result lifting Roy Hodgson's men above West Ham United and Swansea City, but still leaving them in the relegation zone. So what did we learn from the game in the Midlands? Here are five things our digital club writer Robert Wallow noted at the Hawthorns. Roy Hodgson is a popular man. The Crystal Palace boss is widely regarded as one of the nicest men in football, and has many friends in many places having had an illustrious career in management, both in England and abroad. And it is clear that he remains a popular figure at the Hawthorns, with the West Brom fans singing his name and giving him a warm reception on his return to the Midlands. Crystal Palace manager Roy Hodgson during the Premier League match at the Hawthorns, West Bromwich. Photo Anthony Devlin per wire. Hodgson spent a season in De Half with the Baggies before leaving to take the England job, and it was clear there was no animosity over his decision. He guided West Brom to 10th place in the Premier League in his time in charge of the Baggies, and his achievements in his short spell with the club were recognised as the home supporters gave a rousing rendition of There's Only One Roy Hodgson, One Roy Hodgson. Alan Pardew's record continues Roy Hodgson was not the only manager facing his old club in this fixture, with Alan Pardew taking charge of his first game as West Bromwich Albion boss against the club that sacked him just under 12 months ago. He did not quite receive the welcome from his old club's fans that was afforded to Hodgson, but his side showed signs of promise and had the better chances in the game. West Brom boss Alan Pardew looks on prior to the Premier League match against Crystal Palace at the Hawthorns. Photo by Tony Marshall Getty Images Speaking afterwards, Pardew said he was pleased with his new side's performance but disappointed not to win, although he said there was cause for optimism for him that the baggies will climb away from danger. And by avoiding defeat, Pardew continued his unbeaten record in his first game in charge of Premier League sides, with this being his fifth different club, and the fifth time he has not tasted defeat three wins, two draws. A day for the Palace stalwarts Crystal Palace had a few players in their starting lineup who were regulars during Alan Pardew's time in charge. And it was two of the players who have been at the club for a number of years who stood out for the Eagles in a dog defensive display. Despite only being drafted into the starting lineup with 25 minutes to go, Julian Speroni showed his professionalism with a solid performance in goal, while Joel Ward impressed at right back with a number of superb blocks to deny the baggies. Crystal Palace's Joel Ward left and West Bromwich Albion's Salomon Rondon battle for the ball. Photo Anthony Devlin per wire. He was Palace's standout performer on his 201st appearance for the Eagles, and showed why he has been a regular pick for several different managers during his time in South London. In addition, Martin Kelly, who also played under Alan Pardew, came in and put in a steady showing at the back to help Palace to a second successive clean sheet. Ben Take is getting back to his best. This was a much improved display from Christian Benteke, who was denied by Ben Foster in the first half as he fashioned a chance for himself with some fine footwork on the edge of the box before heading straight at the England goalkeeper below. It was perhaps expecting too much too soon for him to hit the goal trail as soon as he returned from almost two months out through injury, but after substitute appearances against Everton and Stoke City, and 90 minutes against Brighton in midweek, this was another step forward for the Belgian international. Crystal Palace's Christian Benteke rises well but sees his header cleared by West Bromwich Albion's Ahmed Hagazi obscured. Photo Anthony Devlin per wire. He now has a week to recover before two games in four days again, and Palace will be hoping that he can notch his first goal of the season sooner rather than later. The wait goes on Palace may have ended one unwanted record in midweek as they drew Amo at Brighton to record their first clean sheet in the Premier League this season at the 14th attempt, and they followed it up with another here to make it two clean sheets away from home for the first time since January the 2015. Crystal Palace's Wilfried Zaha centre battles for the ball against West Bromwich Albion's Claudio Jakob left and Alan Nyom. Photo Anthony Devlin per wire. But they have set another unwanted record, with this game taking their goalless run on the road to eight matches this season and ten in total when the 50 defeat at Manchester City and the 20 defeat at Manchester United last season are both included. That is the first time in the history of the Premier League that a side has gone so long without a goal on the road, and the first in the top flight since Manchester City in 1950, who went 12 games without a goal away from home.